Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for the end of February. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Scorpio, this has to be an actual connection of some kind. You definitely have to at least know each other. Uh, doesn't mean you have to be in union. Um, you could be separated, dating, whatever your situation is. Um, as long as you feel there's a connection there and you definitely have to know each other. So welcome in Scorpio. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on with Scorpio at this time. And I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, you'll find the links to your general and love playlist in the description box below, as well as how to reach out for personal reading, decks I'm using, social media. If you'd like to send a gift, tip or donate, all that information is below. So let's see Scorpio. Welcome in Scorpio. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. And if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. As with every reading, only take what resonates, throw away the rest. Don't try to make it fit. If it's not making sense for you, then it's not your reading. All right, Scorpio. Let's see what we get for Scorpio at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Scorpio in love, and I'm feeling that one. And we have Uranus. So Uranus is the energy of Aquarius. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius, or maybe they have it in their chart. But Uranus is the energy of um, human needs and changes. So basic human needs, you know, you need food, you need water, you need sex, you need, you know, friends, family, love, um, stability, all that kind of energy, the basic human needs that you need in life. And it's also about changes and challenges and that kind of energy also so let's see let's see what's going on with Scorpio this deck here we are going to get first thing I'm going to do is get an overall energy connection energy between you and your person whoever you're thinking about for this reading Scorpio let's get an energy between you and your person at this time please for Scorpio. Okay. That one definitely kind of flew up and then I caught it. So. <laughs> and we have rebuild. So we got the tower energy here and you see like healing your heart, protecting your heart. So either something here between you and your person, something happened. Tower can be an epiphany, a breakdown, shakedown can be a surprise, but that does say rebuild. So uh, you could be rebuilding with your person here. So let's get one for you. I'll call you uh, this side, you, uh, Scorpio, your person this side. But if, like I said, anytime during this reading, you feel like you need to switch and flip-flop the energies around, please do that. Nailing that one for you. Let's get one for your person who you're thinking about at this time, Spirit, please. Thank you so much. So we're going to clarify also these um, energies. And then uh, with the tarot. And then we'll look at the actual situation, advice for the situation, possible outcome of the connection, and then we'll get extra messages from the angel answers. So you have, oh, you have love. Hmm. And we have the lovers here. So you definitely want to, uh, I think, rebuild a love partnership here. And then your person here has strengthening bonds, the Ace of Pentacles energy. Wow, this is nice energy. So if something happened between the two of you, I just see it coming back together and has the energy here. You know, there could have been changes or challenges between the two of you, whatever kept you apart, separated, or whatever breakup situation was, but now it's like coming back together and you both wanting to strengthen the spawn, feeling the love, wanting to come back together. Wow. They definitely want something, Pentacles is something that's very strong, stable, and grounded. So they definitely want this to be much more stable and grounded than it was before. And you're in this energy of wanting just pure love and joy and lover here. Soulmate energy. So you feel like this person is your soulmate. And you want to rebuild with your soulmate. And they want to strengthen strengthen the bond with their soulmate, which is you. And rebuild that bond. Let's see what's on the bottom here. Love about well, I can't make this up. Love abounds. Now we have the ace of cups. Oh my god. So <laughs> So you're either rebuilding um, this connection, and I just got the same reading basically for Taurus, but Taurus didn't have 
Scorpio that came out, uh, Aquarius that came out, or so. I don't know, but it's almost the same reading. Like it's either you separately both just ended something and now you want to rebuild your life. And now it's like coming into soulmate union here with your person. You know, a lot of love and emotions with the Ace of Cups. Uh, love and emotions are overflowing. Divinely guide your brain to be getting in love. Stability for the long term. Looking at the path here, looking down that road and saying, I want to go down that road. Look how bright it is. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify these energies here for you, Scorpio. Let's clarify this energy for Scorpio, Spirit, please. What's going on here for Scorpio? All right, why does Scorpio have the lovers here? The lovers here. Oh, I got... I have one that flipped here. No, oh, okay. So we have the world. So this is about closing out a chapter, but starting a new chapter. The world energy, or traveling the world, or <clears throat> could involve traveling um, to your soulmate here, or you're closing out a chapter, starting a new chapter. Four of Pentacles here. So this is about stability, foundation. It's about also holding on to something, not wanting. You want to hold on to this person and not let them go. So whatever new cycle you're starting with this person, you definitely see them as your soulmate and you don't want to let them go here. You want to hang on to this person. But we have the energy of rebuilt here. So I don't know if something happened between the two of you. If you had a falling out or you got separated for some reason. Something separated the two of you. Um, I do see now you're coming back together not wanting to, or at least you not wanting to let this person go. Your person here has the page of wands. So maybe they reached out to you, you know, reconnected with you like over the internet, social media or something like that. But this is good news coming in, sending out a message, fiery, passionate, exciting message, calling out, hey. <laughs> All right, so let's get one more for your person here. The fool, yeah, wanting to take a leap of faith. Resetting everything back to zero. Trusting everything will be fine. Jumping right in. Wanting to start over, start fresh, start new. Wow, so... What, whatever happened here, because that energy is here of rebuilding. Um, I don't know, for some reason, I'm not getting like you had a breakup or a fight or there was ch nothing like that, but there was something that like happened that delayed like this union coming together you know whether it was something with family or career or maybe it had something to do maybe you had to travel and like leave and go to another country for a time for your, your work career or family because you see the back is kind of turned over here but you never forgot this person it's like i'll never you know i want to hang on to you but i have to go do this first and maybe you were gone, maybe you were gone for a year or something like that. And you're wondering, looking back, is this person going to wait for me when I come back? But now I see, <clears throat> they see, okay, she's back. He, she is back. <clears throat> so now, I mean, maybe you started out this connection and then something happened all of a sudden, you know, you, um, and the rebuild, I mean, the tower can be a shock or a surprise. So maybe something happened where it was a shock or surprise to you. And you had to leave the country or wherever you are or go to another country or travel. And you were gone for a lengthy amount of time. And you're like, I'm not letting go of you, but will you wait for me? And I feel like they did um, wait for you. You know, they're walking down that path. I feel like they just continued on with their life. But once they saw you were back, you know, here's they're reaching out and saying, okay, let's reset at zero start over start fresh start new and let's rebuild this let's you know left off feel like leaving off uh starting where we left off kind of energy all right so if it was you know you didn't have to travel maybe there was just something you had to take care of and maybe it took a lengthy amount of time could have been anything for some reason it prevented you from moving forward in this connection but i feel like it had to be something major either if it was you or them uh had to be something major that is a major with the rebuild there so 
Tower can just be a disruption or something that interferes also. Death, yeah. So you had a, some, and it's on your side. So I had to put an end to something here. Had to put an end to something before you could transform this connection into what you wanted it to be. So however that makes sense for you. Something that you had to take care of, put an end to. Um, it could have been that maybe something, somebody actually passed away in your family. And maybe there was a lot of like, issues that had to be taken care of or something like that if not then this is just you know needing to take care of something and end it whatever it was uh here four swords in reverse so yeah you know you thought about it you <laughs> you're done thinking contemplating you know you're always looking back you don't want to let this person go and you know, the Four of Swords energy is like having to go away on a retreat, spending time alone, you know, so I feel like you had to go take care of something and you never forgot this person. And now that that's been taken care of, now it's like I'm no longer in that uh, energy of, you know, going off alone here. I'm ready to come out of this Four of Swords energy. Eight of Cups. So it's the energy of walking away, but walking to something more fulfilling. Whatever you had to take care of and end and transform out of and walk away from, finally, when it was over, it was done, whatever business or family thing or something, I don't know, something here. I'm not getting like another like lover or something like that or relationships, just something that you had to deal with in your personal life or your family or friend or career, I don't know, something which had to cause you to go into retreat mode from this person while you dealt with this for some reason. And now that you can fully walk away from that situation, it's done, it's over, I'm f fully free and clear. Now I can walk away from that and walk to my person as they're calling out for me. They're calling out to you <laughs> here. And you hear them and you're getting ready to turn your back on whatever that situation is and come out of this stuck energy of the Four of Swords and go towards them. And as I say that in the Knight of Wands, it's a very fiery, passionate energy. So feeling very, you know, attracted to them, fiery, passionate, ready to, you know, with the lovers there, you know, probably get it on or whatever you're going to do here. But, um, yeah, you're ready, ready to get this going here with that Knight of Wands energy. Or them too, because that's on their side. Five of Wands. So it's about conflict, competition, um, kind of energy. So, I mean, they got the energy, too, of now, you know, okay, now we're ready to reset at zero, strengthen the spawn, you know, fiery, passionate communication, or good news coming in and making that fiery, passionate action forward together. But then this conflict, competition, maybe they're still worried, whatever you had to go and take care of, is that still going to linger and cause havoc or problems? I mean, for some of you, it could have been another relationship or situation here, but... Or maybe it was just something with the law or troublesome people. Because I'm seeing this person in armor here. So maybe if it was something with the law or something like that. Uh, maybe this person, your person is worried. Is this going to come back to haunt us? Is this going to interfere? You know, cause havoc and problems now in this connection. But I, I don't think it will. I don't think, I think they may worry about that, but I don't think it will. All right, so let's get the advice for this connection, Scorpio. What's the advice for this connection for Scorpio? Page of Pentacles. So this is very solid, stable offer coming in. There could be an engagement here or just an offer of being totally committed to one another for the long term. You know, being smart, practical, taking it slow stable and grounded kind of energy <laughs> and there's a big offer wow so some of you could be getting a proposal for the long term here ace of pentacles is something divinely guided it's grounded it's stable it's secure it's for the long term it's abundance growth ten of, to the ten of cups happy home and family so you may be getting married having a happy home and family with this person fulfillment in every single way wow so you got three, you got the Ace of Pentacles twice. You have it here, it's in their energy, and now it's over here with the Ace of Pentacles again. So double confirmation of that. 
What else for the advice? The Emperor. So now we uh, have divine energy here, divine masculine energy. <clears throat> you can be male or female, divine masculine energy doesn't matter. But somebody needing to take the lead, take charge now of this connection to have this new start. It could be this person coming in with a solid offer for the long term. Big solid offer to happiness, to joy, fulfillment in every single way for the long term. Wow. So somebody, the advice is for somebody to step up and offer this long-term connection, marriage or commitment or something here for the long-term because this is your fulfillment. This connection is your fulfillment. Wow. So let's see the possible outcome, possible outcome. And the emperor is on their side. So that may be actually them because they have taking the leap of faith there. So and the Knight of Wands. What is the outcome for this connection, Spirit, please? For Scorpio, Queen of Pentacles. So very uh, stable, grounded energy, smart, practical, analytical, uh, nurturing, giving kind of energy, mothering kind of energy, almost like the uh, Empress energy. Four of Cups. So this is... Uh, Oh, that's why block hard, feeling bored and complacent. And let's get one more. Oh, worried about the love or the love offer. High priestess here, listening to your gut, your intuition. I mean, the advice is here for taking control, someone taking control, offering something here, solid, for long-term solid fulfillment. But the outcome here is... Somebody receiving the offer, but then unsure if they really want it now for some reason, or think they have to think about it. It's like, you get the offer and okay, now I'm thinking, because she's looking at the pentacle and she's thinking about it. But the high priestess is here to say, you know, listen to your gut and your intuition about this. But the high priestess is also very secretive. She doesn't say anything. So why is that energy here? I need a couple clarifiers because that's very, we have all this great energy here for the advice and then we have this energy here for the outcomes of somebody maybe just thinking about the offer now, like, well, I don't know if I want this now and not saying anything about it. Or they want to offer this, um, but they're not. Three of Cups. So, it's a, you know, can be a third party, but I didn't really, I mean, it could have been over here. Somebody had to take care of a third party, whether it was you or them. I'm saying you because that's your side. Um, what else here? The Empress. So now we've got a matching couple. We've got the Emperor and the Empress. This person knows, I feel, on this side, your person, maybe that intuitively that this is a divine soulmate energy with the Emperor and the Empress. You could be still worried, even though you took care of your situation here, you could still be worried about that third party coming back and interfering in some way. So for some reason, you may be reluctant reluctant to, to accept their offer because you're afraid of that interference and it may ruin the whole situation because they, they have the same energy over there. So you may be both in the energy of like, okay, we want this, we want to work on this, we want to strengthen this, we want to move forward. But there's something in the energy that the both of you are afraid of something's going to come back to haunt it, to interfere, to disrupt it. And maybe you have to start all over again, as with the rebuild there. So you may, it's for, for that reason, you may or may not move forward in this. It's That's kind of sad because we have all this great energy of the Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Ace of Pentacles twice, the Ten of Cups, Emperor and Empress, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Five of Swords. Yeah, you're afraid someone's going to come back here to raise havoc on this connection for some reason. You are them or the both of you, but you want commitment here with the Hierophant. You want to sail off to a better place together. Peace, harmony, and bliss. But Queen of Swords. So, um... Queen of Swords can be legal, um, you know, legal matters or somebody in the um, 
law enforcement or legal field or something like that. And it also reminds me of divine energy or, you know, someone standing up and not backing down, telling it like it is, not taking any BS, truth, clarity, honest communication and cutting that, using that sword to cut away the BS. You both want to work on the connection here with the eight of pentacles, but feeling unsure with the two of pentacles. Again, we got the page of cups with three people, you know, worrying that someone's going to come in or something's going to come back to disrupt the ten of pentacle energy here, which could be marriage, long-term commitment, um, legacy of a family dynamic, the whole nine yards, but afraid uh, somebody may come back or something to interrupt this and feeling indecisive, juggling around, what do we do? Do we work on this? You know, do we need legal advice? Do we need professional help? Do we need, you know, something here kind of energy? We do want to go off to a better place together in commitment, but worried something's going to come back to raise havoc on this connection. So, wow. <laughs> so, wow, a lot of energy there. So let's see. Um, what else do we have here? We have Scorpio. We have Gemini. We have Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Scorpio. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have Aries, the Empress. I think it's Libra and Taurus. Yep. And then we have Cancer, Pisces. And then we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And then over here we have um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus. So a lot of different energies there. So, and then over here with Uranus, we have Aquarius. So, wow. So I, f I feel a heavy soulmate, like true love, lovers kind of energy, twin flame possibly, wanting to come back together. Somebody took care of something, but both worried something's going to come back to haunt, disrupt, interfere with your connection. So you may decide not to move it forward because of that for some reason, whatever that means for you. Oh, we got one. It said no need to worry. So and that's what I feel, that you don't have to worry about something from the past or something that somebody took care of, uh, feeling you Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be uh, coming back to haunt this. All right, so what do we have here? Improving health. So things can improve here. Or if, you know, somebody's health has been declining because of this whole situation, I just see overall things are will get better. So we got three here. So let's see. Romance, definitely, and I feel that. Soulmate, love. Opportunity, this does have the opportunity to go to the Ten of Pentacles for the long term and communicate clearly. So open, honest communication, uh, standing up for yourself, not backing down, not taking any BS from anybody and remain positive. So I do feel like this can move forward. You don't have to worry about something coming back to interfere with this though I think it's weighing heavily on both your minds and it may again disrupt this from moving forward again because of that but wow Scorpio okay so best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel is to always always shine your light